Hello guys, I want to show you how to control Xiaomi Delight bulbs, including the white bulb and the RGB one, uh, with a, control them with a Windows command prompt using the Telnet, uh, Telnet client. So first I want to show you, here I have some comments that the Xiaomi Delight bulb uh, will handle and will execute uh, first, of the, first of all you will need to enable the Delight uh, developer uh, mode and on all your lights on all your lamps this should be enabled this is very important because lamps uh, only allows third party connections third party, third party software connections when you enable the developer mode on the bulb. Okay, so uh, I already have uh, four lamps here in my apartment, and I want to show you how I create an application using Indosoft Web Studio to control them. And you basically can use also the Telnet command to control them. So let's start uh, with this little application okay uh, I'm recording in parallel both uh, the my laptop screen and then you I'm using my phone to to show you guys the, the effect of the light here in my bedroom so I'm pointing to my bed I want to show you first how to use the uh, comments to uh, uh, control the light using the command prompt. First, you will need to access to the bulb using Telnet. Uh, you should type Telnet and the IP address of your bulb. On my case, is this one. And uh, also specify the port number uh, that the bulb is listening to uh, on this case uh, Xiaomi says that uh, the port number is 55443 that is a port number and then press return um, and you will be able to send comments to the lamp so I will start with the first basic comment I will turn it turn the light off I paste this comment here. Okay, I just pasted the comment and the light turned it off. As you can see in the picture below in the video in parallel that I, I'm taking, uh, the light was turned it off. I will I can also turn the light turn the light on you can see in the parallel video I'm I'm taking a, a, a live shoot of both actions so I will paste the comment okay I have the comment for live turn on uh, I will press return and the lights are turning on uh, I can also control the bright of the light so I can set it to 50% I have the comment here for set bright okay uh, to 50% As you can see the luminosity was decreased so now I will set the bright to 10% to decrease even more you can see the effect here okay the light is in the ceiling so yes I have now 10% of, of right I will send a comment again to to uh, increase the break to the set 100% so you can see that I can control also the, the, the 
bright with uh, uh, simply telnet command okay now I'm in another in another place in the corridor of my apartment and I have uh, four four lamps I want to show you how I can uh, turn on each of them I will open another common prompt in Windows so I can uh, start a connection with a second clamp so I will, I will again uh, run a telnet command to link with my second clamp Okay, this is the address and also the port number. I want to show you in in the camera uh, the effect. Okay, I am online with the second lamp. I will send a turn on comment here. Okay, I have the comment. This is a JSON comment. I just sent common and as you can see the light is turned it on we can do the same to turn it off Here. okay it's turned it off I will start the connection with my third lamp but that, that is not necessary because uh, I have here an application that I, I built using in the software studio to turn on and to off, turn off my lights and control also the bright. I can set the power and set the bright. Uh, so uh, I will show you that I can turn on my first two lamps. Okay, this one. Um, this one okay we have two lights here I can also turn off this and turn off the other one or simple toggle uh, I, I will turn left it turn it on the other one too I will show you the other lamps that I have on the other side of the room. The first one that that we was testing first. Okay, just turn it on. I'm not sure if you can see it, by but it's turn it on. Okay. Chris, I have a second lamp here. I want to show you the effect of the second lamp. The IP is 102, I think. Okay, let's turn it on also. I can toggle. And I can also control the lamp right. Okay, I'm at 100% uh, right now. I will turn it to the 50%. I, I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but uh, I'm decreasing the bright. Okay, yes, yeah, you can see the one is more luminous than the other one. I am 1% one, 1 right now. And I can also increase to the one to one hundred percent. I can control dynam dynamically the bright of the light. Okay, uh, a couple of things about the application. Each each bulb, each lamp uh, allows for a concurrent connection. So I can have the telnet client on the command prompt here, and I can also have the the Indusoft application. Uh, 
connected to the same TCP port because uh, each LAM allows four connections uh, at a time. So that is why I can uh, work, in par work in parallel with the bot uh, in the soft and also the common prompt. Uh, my lights will turn off automatically because I have some uh, BIR sensors on each room and they detect that I don't have there are there are no movement there are no persons inside and they will turn off the lights automatically. But I, I want I want to show you now how I made this application. Basically, I have a driver here. This is the TXRX driver. I configure it. Uh, the driver to point to uh, the bulb uh, lamps addresses here this is a variable attack that I can then dynamically modify this is the port number for the bulbs this is the port number for the uh, response messages this is the TX uh, characters that the lamp will return and these also are used to send messages to the lamp. Uh, this all, uh, there is the suffix of each message. I have one worksheet to send a comment. I have a TX tag that has the comment for each lamp. And I also have an RX uh, worksheet with an RX tag that receives the messages that the LAMP returns when it executes a command. Uh, I have the bot tags here, I have the value for each tag and I also put on the application uh, the TX and RX messages in order to troubleshoot it easily. For instance, if I turn off the light this light the, the, on my on my right, I can turn it off, and I send this command. I are uh, the lamb returned this message, an OK resultant message, and a confirmation of the action. As you can see here, uh, sorry, I'm not connected to this lamp. But I, I'm, I'm connected with, with a lamp with IP100. I want to show you that now it is in mode on. It's turned it on. Uh, when the light is turned off, it sends a message to all the current, the current connected clients. So I will turn it off. As you can see, I have a message on, uh, OK uh, here, uh, a resultant of OK. I also have a status message that says OK, I'm sorry, off, but this message was, was, also, was also sent to the second or to the first client that I had connected to the lamp. So every, every uh, client connected to, to the lamp will know that now the light was turned off. The same happens with the bright. I can, I can turn, on, turn on the light I can turn on the light and set the bright uh, power bright. Okay, I can set the bright to the less. As you can see, uh, I have the same message here: ten percent input connected clients. I will raise to one hundred percent. You can see if I move the slider, it also works for, for both clients. Okay, again I can toggle. Since I'm connected on the same LAN local area network, the live response is very quick. Good response very very quick. I am not connected to the cloud. This is a direct connection over the Wi-Fi network. So 
guys, this is all I want to sh share with you. I will leave this uh, project, this Indosoft project, on the uh, video description. I will also uh, leave a link for the Gelight Gelight commands. Uh, manual here is I found it here uh, Mr. Weiwei is a very active member of the Gelight forum and he put this manual on the forum and it uh, explains everything about not also the white lamp but uh, uh, the RGB and the ceiling lamps too uh, they allow this protocol as you can see RGB can be also controlled here uh, so I recommend you uh, check out this manual in order to understand better the, how this works if you have any question, any comment, please leave it below uh, and thank you for check this video goodbye